Just your first impression. What do you imagine is there? Use all of your senses. It's like when you walk into a dark room and you're using all of your senses. I know, I know it's open space mm -hmm. and it's all white right there. Beautiful. Right now. All right. So let's travel through that open space. You can tell me if it's white, what kind of a white is it? Is it a solid white? Or is it a, maybe a misty white? Yeah, kind of misty, but it's at the same time it's clear. It's clear. But I can feel it, like mm -hmm. touch. Very good. So as we travel through this misty white, I want you to deactivate all of your senses. These are the senses that you use when you have your eyes closed or when you walk into a dark room and start getting used to the environment. Use those senses. So start feeling your way around this place. And tell me, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I ask you, where are you? The fence. Mm-hmm, the fence. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Metallic. It's a metallic fence. Yeah, and I, like I hold my hand like that. Mm -hmm. I look through the fence. It's kind of I'm locked, mm -hmm. and the freedom is there. The freedom is on the other side of the mm -hmm. fence. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What's on the other side? Are you alone, or are others there with you? I don't feel anybody. Mm -hmm. As you're looking at this fence, does this fence feel like it's an old fence or a modern fence? It's quite modern. Modern? Mm -hmm. It has like little holes. Mm -hmm. And as you're standing there in front of the fence, do you feel that you're male or female? I'm a female. Mm -hmm. about, um, how old do you feel there? I'm 13 mm -hmm. and I'm dirty. And you're dirty? Yeah, it's like I feel on this side of the fence it's raining and cold. Mm -hmm. And on the other side it's like the valley, like yellowish. Mm -hmm. And it's sunny there. It's warm. Mm -hmm. So what's keeping you from getting from to the other side of the fence? And the fence doesn't have a door. Mm -hmm. And it's too... I, I cannot climb. Because it, it's not going to hold me. Mm -hmm. It's like it's moving if I'm trying to the fence get moves. there. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's high. It's a high fence. High fence. Mm -hmm. Look down at your at your feet and see if you have shoes on. Mm -mm. No. Oh no. I have I have pants mm -hmm. and something reminds of Germany, mm -hmm. like war time. Mm -hmm. That kind of color mm -hmm. of the clothes, gray. They're gray. Something like that, and it's. I don't know. It's not soft at all. Mm-hmm. Your what you're wearing is not soft. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything on your head? Yeah, I have a kind of reddish cap or hat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't look, uh, I look all right, I'm not, I don't feel hungry or, mm -hmm. but I'm dirty. And, I'm dirty. Uh, like, because of the rain and the dirt mm -hmm. around, 
there is no pavement, mm -hmm. just the dirt. Very good. So let's find out where it is that you sleep. I want you to close that scene and let's go to the place where you sleep. And describe this place for me. Where are you? Still outside, uh, mm -hmm. in front of the the building is high. It's like made of bricks. There are many buildings, but like they all connected, mm -hmm. but it's not like home. Mm -hmm. I don't feel it like home. Mm -hmm. So what are these? What's inside of these buildings? It's all empty. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside and see what's there. I feel like everybody left mm -hmm. and I'm there alone and the territory is huge and I'm, I don't know how to get out of there. Mm -hmm. So let's walk through this place and tell me what it looks like. The brick is the walls, the brownish. Mm -hmm. Inside or outside? Outside. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, it's like gray, dark. And it's the windows, they most of them are broken. So it's like abandoned place. Mm -hmm. And I'm there as well, abandoned with that place. Mm -hmm. And you can walk. You know, it's like in the movie, um, Life is Beautiful or something like that, where there was a camp, German camp, where they burned the Jewish people. So it looked like So let's find out how it is that you got to this place. I want you to close that scene and let's go back to a time when you were not in this place. Go back in time, drifting and floating back in time and space, and be at the place where you lived before you were here. And tell me where you are. It's a kind of farmhouse. A farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it has that same color, yellowish, greenish grass and trees. Around, but more, it's more like a valley. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of trees. And there is a house, one story. Look, what a farm. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Any people or animals around you? Look around. I feel that place is alive. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel yet. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and start getting acclimated to this place. Feel yourself going back into this life completely. Seeing all of the scenes come back to life as the people. Now I see myself, mm -hmm. like seven, mm -hmm. and I have a dress, and the, my hair like braids, mm -hmm. but some beautiful something here and there. Mm -hmm. And your hair? Like, yeah, like kind of head headbands or something like that. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing there? I see the house on the distance, so I'm, I'm just running in the valley, like playing, mm -hmm. and the day is, it's warm, and I'm clean. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing on your feet? I have sandals, mm -hmm. like s something red, and the dress has something red as well. So go towards your house and let's see who's in your house. I have a 
grass yeah. or like flowers in my hand, so uh -huh. I guess I was collecting. So I, I know there is my mother in there. Mm -hmm. She has an apron like the white white one she's she's making bread. Mm -hmm. What does your mother look like? I don't see her face. Mm -hmm. I just I see mostly the, the lower apron. yeah the apron then she has kind of maybe gray dress mm -hmm. it's like a bit puffy but not too much mm -hmm. a little puffy uh -huh. mm -hmm. the apron and I see her hands like she has light skin Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else in the in the house with you? There is a puppy. A puppy. Mm -hmm. A gray little thing. Mm -hmm. And there is a brother. He's younger than me. Can you Is see his face? Yeah. He doesn't have much hair. Mm -hmm. It's like he too two or three years old, mm -hmm. three probably. Take a look at his face, and the eyes are always the window to the soul. See if he reminds you of anybody in the life of Christina. Does he seem familiar or not? I think he's my cousin. Mm -hmm. We are close with my cousins. So. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene and now let's go to another important scene in that lifetime when something is happening that's impacting your life. Be there now. Where are you? What's the first impression that you're getting? I still have that picture of my mom and brother. Mm -hmm. Let's find but out. I, I don't feel father. Mm, you don't feel a father there? Yeah. But we are happy. Let's find yeah. out what happened to your father. Go deep inside and you'll know the answer. What happened to your father? Thing. We have a father. He's, he, he works um, in the fields, mm -hmm. so he's gone for a long time. That's why we feel like he's not there. Okay. But we are happy because we know he, he's there. Okay, very good. Very good. So let's see what happens next. Let's go to the next important scene of your life. Tell me where you are. What's happening? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Mom and my brother. Mm -hmm. And the puppy. But my father, he's the war. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's in the war? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're moving us somewhere. Okay. Who who's moving you? Like military people. Mm -hmm. They like escorting us or like on the train. Mm -hmm. So we had to leave the house and just leave everything. Mm -hmm. So let's see where, where that train goes. Who's on that train with you? There are hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Like all packed together. 
How are you feeling? I don't know. I'm not scared. Um, I feel I need to protect my brother mm -hmm. because he's afraid and the puppy. But mom, she, she's worried, but I'm not scared. I don't cry or I just want to have my braids back. Mm -hmm. What happened to your braids? I don't have those beautiful bands anymore. Mm -hmm. I had to leave everything. Mm -hmm. I have a little pack. A little bag? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something. But I think there was some bread in it and not much of the clothes. Mm -hmm. So we just... I don't know where the train goes. So let's advance that scene to see where that train stops. What's happening? It seems like um, it's a plant mm -hmm. or people work for war like they they make something to send for people who fight mm -hmm. and there, there is a space like little space to leave for several people so me and mom and my brother were Yeah, the, like the room inside the building, mm -hmm. and then you go out, and then you go to work. And I don't have my puppy with me anymore because I had it, I had to let it go. They said I cannot bring it with me. How does that make you feel? Um. I know the puppy will die mm -hmm. eventually because he he's afraid of being alone. But I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. So what happens? I feel I'm I'm very tough inside. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I closed. I'm not the girl in the valley anymore. I'm not that happy and open. And now I feel like I have to help, protect, and support my mom. Mm -hmm. Who else is living with you now? It's just us because it's very tiny space. Mm -hmm. But there are other people around somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like in next door or something like that. But it's more like jail-looking thing, mm -hmm. but it's not that place yet. Mm -hmm. It's just the plant for us to work at. Mm -hmm. Do you work at this plant? See yourself there. Tell me what you do. I... I see off my mom to work. Mm -hmm. Then I, with my brother, I hold him by the hand and then we go back and we stay in that place. We don't work. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens after this place. Tell me where you go next. there. Mm -hmm. It's like something about my father. Mm -hmm. Like we're waiting. Or okay. 
my mom is sick. She works, but she, she will die too. And I don't think that my father is coming to get us. So let's find out what happens. My mom is very slim, like bony. Mm -hmm. So she she cannot work anymore. And there is a lady next door. She help helps us to take care of mom, but mm -hmm. she she dies anyway. And then that lady helps us. Um, like I know how to cook, but there is not not much stuff that you can cook from so the lady gives us some bread because she she works and they give her bread and we like just with my brother and they're in that room waiting like what's gonna happen next mm -hmm. describe this room for me what does it look like it's tiny, it's made of stone, gray, and there is one bed, kind of, mm -hmm. very tiny, to the left, so it's like a long corridor, so you need to, like, you cannot stand like that together there. Mm -hmm. Just one person can pass by. Mm -hmm. In the room? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is a little like kind of fireplace so you can stay warm. Mm -hmm. And that's it. There's nothing else. Do these rooms have doors? Yeah. Yeah, that there is something made of wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's close that scene and let's go now to the next important scene of that life. Go to the next one, see what happens. So now we're stuck with that woman. She, she doesn't have kids. Mm -hmm. Maybe she has, but they're grown. Mm -hmm. So she takes care of us and now we're moving to that place where I first saw myself. Mm -hmm. How do you move there? How are you getting there? There is a train. Mm -hmm. And it, it came to me in the beginning, the place um, where my house was, it says Latvia. Latvia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then we moved, I don't know why, closer to the border, mm -hmm. somewhere to Germany, I don't know why, now we're crossing it, so we're going, we're in Germany now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening, it's just a lot of people again going somewhere there. And this is the place we just get there. I don't know why. Does this place have a name? I don't sense anything. Okay, good. So let's see what happens at this place. Where do you go? So I get that clothes that is gray. Mm -hmm. My brother goes somewhere else, and I go with that woman. And I just know that I, I've never seen my brother again. How does that make you feel? I feel like I know there that 
everybody is going to die anyway, so I don't suffer. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't let myself feel anything. Okay. So let's see what happens next. I was left alone. I don't know where is this lady anymore. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people like they're walking around and the soldiers they they like yelling a lot and I'm not doing anything. Like I don't work but there there are like there is a place now I see where I sleep. Mm -hmm. So I like four beds, like two-story beds mm -hmm. and there are four people in one room or cell it's more room but you know you're not allowed to go anywhere except for outside mm -hmm. and the fence like I can see the fence from my front door do you sleep on the bottom or the top? on the top. Mm -hmm. Who are you with in that room? Are they children or adults? They're more adults, like 14 years mm -hmm. old girls. How old are you now? I'm like 11, 12, mm -hmm. so it's close to... Mm -hmm. So let's see what you do in a typical day. What happens to you? Like sewing something. What are you doing? Sew. Sewing? Uh, mm -hmm. Sewing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you do that for yourself or for others? No, that's for others. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a job there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do you do during the day? I'm just thinking how to how to escape mm -hmm. because I want to go back to the yellow valley mm -hmm. over there so let's close that scene let's go to another important scene in that lifetime when something is happening I know they killed a lot of people there, but mostly men in that place. Mm -hmm. But then, like kind of bombing or something happened, mm -hmm. so everything looks already destroyed. Mm -hmm. Not everything, but most of it. So I am hiding. Where are you hiding? It's kind of... There is a little window close to the ground. So I found that place so I can slip in. Mm -hmm. And the bombing was like... When it started I came there. Mm -hmm and stayed. What's in that place? Is it a room? I think it's like on the ground. Mm -hmm. mm. There are kind of tubes. There's there. tubes? Mm -hmm. Maybe they like the whole plumbing thing there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So you're like in a tube underneath the ground? No, I'm not in it. I'm in that space. It's like tiny, mm -hmm. so there are tubes all over there. Okay. I cannot stand, but I can you know, stand on my knees. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay there. 
So what's happening outside? Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just waiting. It's like chaos. There are people running around and it's raining. I see the... Um, I think the German soldiers. Mm -hmm. They just taking off. And and people they they just go somewhere, I don't know, like they just running. Mm -hmm. Out of this place? Yeah. Because it's collapsing here and there. But I stay in that window. So I stayed there for a while until I I hear and feel that there is no one in there. There were people on the other side of the fence when it was like the bombs came from somewhere. Mm -hmm. and there were people like soldiers, but they they probably were there for a little bit and then left. So I'm alone now. So what do you do? Advance the scene? I walk. Mm -hmm. I walk somewhere, like... I can see the yellow valley, but I know it's my imagination. Mm -hmm. I just put the picture in front of myself so I can keep walking. <coughs> I found a hole in the fence, so I went through the fence and I started walking. So let's see where it is that you go. That's what I'm feeling. I, I feel I didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happened. I want you to go to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. I got to the m mining field. Mm -hmm. Just blew up. The minefield blew you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that you're on the other side of that, I want you to look back at that girl and tell me what she looks like. What does her body look like? Where was she affected? I see the head. Mm -hmm. Legs. Mm -hmm. And arms, but the rest it's shattered. Mm -hmm. Where is it shattered? Where is it affected the most? Is it in the torso? Yeah, it's the left bottom, like mm -hmm. that part, and then goes a bit to mm -hmm. the thigh there. So I'd like for you to use your imagination, and I'd like for you to bring back all of the pieces of that body. Imagine yourself just bringing them all back like a big vacuum, and putting them back together, sealing her whole body putting her back in one piece, all of her torso completely in one piece. Tell me how that feels when you do that. It feels healthy. Mm -hmm. and Very good. She's back, mm -hmm. um, like girl, mm -hmm. happy mm -hmm. in the dress, not like the one that she was Beautiful. Before she died. Wonderful. So as you look at that lifetime, every life has a purpose and a lesson. What do you feel was the lesson that you learned from that lifetime? To stand for yourself. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the reason that, that you lived your life? What was the purpose of living that life? 
What did you want to learn? I don't feel exactly that I, it was exactly for learning. It mm -hmm. was more like I needed to leave to jump so I can get to the next. The next level? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where that was decided. I'd like for you to go ahead and leave that body and let's start transitioning away from that body and tell me where you go. What happens after you leave that body? What do you see? Not much. Mm -hmm. Still like um, somewhere in the air. Mm -hmm. So describe everything that goes on around you as you travel through the air. The sensations, the feeling, the speed. It's like I can see the the physical world and it's like darker mm -hmm. and I'm lighter and I go up and everything is like the blue is brighter but thinner mm -hmm. and it's just going up and it's all blue so let's keep mm -hmm. going and tell me if you're greeted by anybody I see something. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see. Like a flower. Mm, just or a nice flower, I don't know. It's like one, two, three kind of cocoons. Mm -hmm. And I know those are for me to interact. They're not big. Mm -hmm. Just like see them like a flower. Why are they there? Let's find out. Everything is too light. Mm -hmm. I cannot... Mm -hmm. They are light and everything is around, but I feel I, I'm more bluish. You feel bluish? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're bluish light? Or do you I, have your body still? No, I have... Kind of. Mm -hmm. What happens? Well, it's like light mm -hmm. body in the like blue color. I feel I have um, kind of a robe with the hood on. Mm -hmm. The robe with the hood on. Mm -hmm. And it's long, like Greek Greek style, yes. something like that. Mm -hmm. And the, the sleeves are like wide, like that. Mm -hmm. And those three, I don't know. Let's find out what those are. The lady. Then I. Oh, maybe it's my mom and my brother, but because the the ladies has dark hair, I can see that. But she's in white, and then the there is a boy next to her. Who do you think that boy is? I don't know, he's kind of learning something. Mm -hmm. He looks like, you know, they uh, draw angels. Like they have cheeks and... The like little that, cherubim? Uh, yeah. The little chubby angels? Yeah, kind of that. Mm -hmm. And he has curly hair. and But he also has that white robe. It's like he's smaller. But and then there is one more. They, they're not talking to me, they're just there. Mm -hmm. That's the man. Not, it's not a man, it's more... I don't know, it changes, it's male and female at the same time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's like teenage being, mm -hmm. kind of that. Mm -hmm. So you can communicate mind to mind when you're in this state. Go ahead and connect your mind with theirs. 
so that you can find out why, why they're there, why they're there to greet you, and what they have to say. What is the first impression that you're getting as you connect with them? That little boy is is looking at me like he's waiting for me to go first. Mm. So now it's reversed. Instead of dying, we need to be born. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for me. So he's going to come after. Okay. So let's go to the moment when you're planning the life. I want you to go to the moment right before the lifetime of Christina. Tell me how you prepare for this lifetime. Where are you? I feel like it's kind of a bubble. A bubble. Mm -hmm. It's big, like a room. Mm -hmm. And it has three layers to it. And they're moving like, like amoeba, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this room is alive? In a way? Yeah, I'm I'm in there at the same time I can see through it. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in there, no one can see what is there. I can only. So, what are you doing in this bubble room? Are you by yourself? Right now, I'm outside, looking at it. I don't know. It's like two of me, mm -hmm. one outside, one inside, but the one inside is, is kind of sleeping mm -hmm. or in a stasis or something like. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more. Maybe it comes like a, it's healing, mm -hmm. but not the body. What is it healing? I don't know, some, it's not physical, not, some kind of body, but I'm there, mm -hmm. and she, 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 yeah, she's also there, no, it's like the, we can say energy body, it's just there in that bubble, in the bubble, Let's That's find it. out happens. what happens after that. So what? I just I just leave that scene. Mm -hmm. So I kind of in space, mm -hmm. but not physical space. It's a bit different. So I can just move from one place to another. Where do you go? And I feel male. You feel male? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out about this life then. I'm just moving around, doing something. I'm always... I don't have duties. Like, I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm... I'm responsible for myself and I can help and I always running around doing something. I don't know what is that, like arranging something? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you're arranging. Go ahead and see yourself doing what it is that you actually do. Where are you? I don't know, there is 
there is not there is no structure to the buildings it's mm -hmm. all kind of etheric looking mm -hmm. so I just move from one place to another like I know I need to get there and I, I get there mm -hmm. and it seems like I sign something then I go to the next place and I sign something let's find out what you're signing I want you to stop and see what it is that you're signing what are you agreeing to? You'll be able to know it. What comes to mind? That some people ask me to sign. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, but in, they ask me to sign instead of them, mm -hmm. and I agreed. Mm -hmm. But what is it that you have agreed to do? I don't know, there is a big man sitting at where I sign. Mm -hmm. What's he look like? Like, it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's chubby and just sitting there bored mm -hmm. he doesn't talk so you just come and there is a line I cannot read it there is a line and then you put your signature next to it like you choose 1 to 10 or 1 to 16 mm -hmm. and there is a line for you you just know where is your line you sign it but what it says I don't see Okay, well, don't use your eyes to see. I want you to use your knowing. I want you to connect with that part of you that just knows what that contract is all about. Allow the concepts to come to your mind automatically. I don't know, I just know that I'm very anxious mm -hmm. and it's like I even don't look at what I'm signing. Mm -hmm. um, I know what is that and I know that I, why I'm like asking all the time, I'm asking myself why am I doing this and I keep doing and I'm like from one place to another anxiously going and signing mm -hmm. it's like um, I feel that I'm doing wrong here I want to help but it's wrong for me because when my second me will wake up there it will not be happy mm -hmm. that's strange mm -hmm. so I don't know what I'm signing so let's find out what happens. What happens after you finish signing all of these papers? What next? I just see the the cross. Mm -hmm. What cross do you see? Just white, the cr mm -hmm. white, mm, like that. Mm -hmm. What is that? I'm trying to see what's next, I mean, mm -hmm. and just see that. So, trust your first impression when you see that cross. What is the significance of it? What comes to mind? Don't think about it, just allow it to come. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like it is? I'm done. It says, I don't know if it's right, mm -hmm. but my brother in this life mm -hmm. is that person who's signing. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And that one who's lying there in the healing thing, it's me, but we are one. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how you call that. So that person chose something and I'm not allowed to go there because mm -hmm. I'm not that person anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm in that in a chamber? Chamber, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I cannot go further for that person after signing. Mm -hmm. And it's white, like it's just white light and it says cross. So I cannot go there. So does it seem like your brother had made decisions as part of your soul? Is he like a twin flame? Yeah, it seems like because he, I felt anxious about this, that part of me, mm -hmm. because I knew that that part would be disappointed at what I'm doing right now without letting her know. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why I can see that person and that in the chamber and I'm outside as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. So he went his own way, but it shouldn't be different. Mm -hmm. it should be different somehow. I don't know. But so let's find out some more about this. What happens next? I think I need to use a bottom. All right, so I'm going to touch, then, your, touch your shoulder. When I do, that'll be your indication to open your eyes. And when you come back, you'll be able to come back to that same exact scene and go even deeper. Eyes open. You're doing great. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? I want to see that chamber again. Mm -hmm. So me. it's kind of time. Mm -hmm. It's done healing. And I just float in and we kind of connect. Mm -hmm. And that's me. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. find out how it is that you choose the people in your life before this lifetime, before you go to live as Katrina? I want you to see yourself with your guides, with your counsel, or selecting the family where you'll be with. There is one man, mm -hmm. like wise man, where is this wise man? It's kind of one of those floating chambers, mm -hmm. but now it's bigger mm -hmm. and it has different purpose, so it can just be there so no one interrupts. Mm -hmm. And he talks to me. Let's find out what the conversation is about. Let's ask him who he is. Who is this wise man? He's the one who helps me to plan the life. Mm -hmm. He guides later, but his main part is right now, mm -hmm. before the life. So, I am that bluish female, mm -hmm. he's mostly white, but I can see his features, he has a long beard, mm -hmm. and he's quite strict. Mm -hmm. What does he say? No, I cannot understand. Mm -hmm. I, I can sense his like attitude and mm -hmm. 
he's kind and loving and all that, but he's strict, like he's, he's the boss. Mm -hmm. So what is he telling you? What is, what is he conveying to you? I want you to connect mind to mind. Because in this place, that's how you communicate. Telepathically from mind to mind. So let's find out what your guide is telling you. He can, he will help me to find the guardian angels for me. Mm -hmm. Because right now I don't feel I have any because I'm like that myself. Mm -hmm. I don't need the protection. So he's going to help me with that. What else does he convey to you? Nothing. Nothing. What is the purpose of your lifetime as Katrina? Ask your guide. What is the purpose? It's funny. He's like, are you seriously asking me that? Mm -hmm. Like, I already know, but I just need... I'm just asking him to show me mm -hmm. so I can see. Okay. There is kind of a map. Mm -hmm. So I cannot see the part before, now. Like kind of adulthood. Adulthood? Yeah, I, like I start to see from now and the future? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like like that and straight. Mm -hmm. Where does it go? So what does your guide say? As I understand it says like that picture means that I'm going straight. Mm -hmm. But where, it doesn't say, just straight, mm -hmm. which means if Let's ask, uh -huh. mm -hmm. ask your guides, what are the goals or the people that are going to be in your life? feel it's like there will be people around here and there mm -hmm. popping out in the right time but the main thing is for me just walk by myself okay very good there is something at the end let's find out because it, it, it looks like a peak now I see it horizontally, but if you put it up, there is a peak, and I get there, so I'm going straight, I'm not walking around. But where is the end? Ask your guide if it would be possible that I speak with him directly and he answer questions. You can try. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, 
Take a deep breath in. I'm going to count from one to three and let me speak with your guide. One, two, and three. Good morning, guide. Hello. What does that map indicate? She sees that the path is clear. Mm -hmm. She's on the right way. She just needs to keep walking and that's it. And that's why I feel a bit irritated mm -hmm. by the question. It goes up. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know what is there until she gets there. So is she actually creating her own life as she goes? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So did she come with any certain goals for this lifetime? Any purpose to be accomplished? She, she did it faster. She did it faster. And then she thought she would. Hmm. It's supposed to take her longer, but she created the circumstances to make it faster. Mm -hmm. So all of these difficult circumstances that she went through in her life were to get rid of all that karma? To get through all of this? I cannot call it karma, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's like no, she does. She don't own anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. She just on her own. She can do whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. Very good. What gods um, or angels did she select with you, or did you select them for her? No, we selected together. Mm -hmm. Who are her guides? As she was thinking her brother, mm -hmm. but it's just because he chose the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, Is I he mean, helping her? Yeah, now he does, but before I want her to know that it's like he was in real life and in his and like his soul is always impatient and he wants to help as many people as possible mm -hmm. so what he did he signed too many contracts that's why he had to finish them also faster so he would be able to help her at the right time mm -hmm. so that's why he left Early. How is he doing? He's doing fine. Did he go back to the light? Yes, he, he's, he's here. He's here, okay. Sure. So who are her angels now? So, so mostly he does several tasks for her, mm -hmm. her brother. Okay. Because he's like multitasking kind of guy, mm -hmm. and there is me mm -hmm. and the higher self. That's it. Do you go by a certain name? <sighs> she called me wise man. Uh -huh. Is that a good name for you? Yeah, I look like. Uh huh. Are you always with her? most of the time mm -hmm. and sometimes she doesn't need it when she was bike riding the other day she had an accident was that a message <laughs> it was a complete stamp mm. that kind of um how can we say she recently for the last three four weeks she was thinking a lot because of the session mm -hmm that kind of thinking but just evaluating everything and looking back retrograding it and, mm -hmm. and that was the question am I done am I done all mm -hmm. the time <laughs> so we just decided to show her that she is <laughs> it it is the way that um, it started for her it was legs 
there was several accidents. Mm -hmm. So that's why we thought it would be comprehensible, but she couldn't get it. It was like something, but she kept asking again. So any time that she is going to get an answer, it's going to be with her legs? No, it was about the, the whole thing that she was thinking, the past. Oh, okay. Now she doesn't need it because everything is fresh and she can create. She, she doesn't have that blueprint anymore. Mm -hmm. That's all up to her. That's good. In getting these messages, I know that you have to <clears throat> be very connected to the higher self in order to receive these messages. What's stopping her from opening up these psychic abilities? She needs to put more time to it. More time? Yeah, because she wants it like that. <laughs> like everybody else gets mm -hmm. most of the people right mm -hmm. but a lot of people need to work for it and she wants to do one thing at the same time she has another work to do another job because she needs money right so slowly slowly she needs just to shift from one to another mm -hmm. what's the best way for her to shift Open up those that third eye. She needs to physically relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. The brain, especially. Mm -hmm. She may be not really thinking like something, making ideas or whatever. But it always intense because. She protects herself from people around. Mm. Those at work, because it um, her work is about money, and that's the energy that depleted her. Mm. Okay. And before. Yes. Okay, and her family, so she tries to be very careful with that, and she put the energetic protection. Every day she's good with that. Yes. But I don't know why she's she does it for her like physical brain. Mm. So it it's very intense there. So she just needs to relax there and then it's gonna start popping up more because she had it before. She had like very, very vivid and she like the knowingness mm -hmm. it's clear without any doubt. And then she started having more work, and that, that's the problem here. She needs to be physically relaxed. Or relaxed, and mentally yes. relaxed. Yeah. Does she should she be doing more meditation, or perhaps maybe walking meditation or writing meditation, where she can relax her mind? Yeah, and. I think she needs to look for some other ways to relax the muscles, mm -hmm. um, more exercise. Okay. She does it, but not every single day, mm -hmm. so more of it is going to help to relax. Very good. Part of the psychic ability, I, I think she something happened to her last December. She experienced a tall being in the room. And, she had a short out-of-body experience and felt some information was downloaded, but she doesn't recall it. What happened that day? This part is for the near future, mm -hmm. but it's not as near as you want it to be. But it's quite close, so she, she she will get the access by the time she needs it. Okay, who was this but, tall being? Yeah, the, those are friends. <laughs> they, it's not the soul group. Okay, but they they used to be somewhere else. She used to be with them somewhere else, mm -hmm. 
so they just came to remind of yeah just the reminder of something that she's gonna get the understanding plus um, there was something with uh, with the physical pain there who are Something these? With the mind. Who are these friends? Where are they? Where do they come from? Are they a different dimension or a different galaxy or where? No, they here. Mm -hmm. No, now they here. But originally, no, they are from the different, not the dimension, but the universe. Okay. Are they from a different star system, perhaps? Yeah, yes. Okay, and she's from there? No. They they got together several hundred mm -hmm. lives ago. Okay. And they're like good friends. Mm -hmm. And they just come and remind her of something that I'm not sure that I'm aware of. Is the higher self separated from some of this stuff that happens to her? I shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. But I don't have the access to that information. Why do you think that you cannot access it? Was it perhaps an implant? No, it was, it was energetic work. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anything physical. Like was it positive or was it negative? If you cannot access it. No, it is good. Okay. It is good, but I don't know. I, I even can locate the where is it the mm -hmm. information, but I cannot see it. Mm. I cannot understand. Is there a way that the higher self could go back to that moment in time when this was being implanted and perhaps creating a back door to it so you can access it? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me what happens. The being is talking to me. Mm -hmm. Smiling. Um, so reprogramming before the energy shift, mm -hmm. so that she doesn't go crazy. Mm. Her DNA is in the process, but they needed to help her with the brain. Is this the shift, the solar flash that we're talking about? Yeah, and after that, mm -hmm. the, it's not the one second thing. It's gonna take longer to adjust, so they prepared her. That's mm -hmm. why she doesn't need the kind of information they gave her, mm -hmm. but the kind of chemical balance, so it's gonna jump uh, whenever the shift goes, mm -hmm. so it's gonna protect the brain and, and the matter like the gray mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. is fine because for her it's important she she used to have very mm, 
how to say she didn't have strong connection uh, in her neural system mm -hmm. especially being the kid right. yeah because she had um, dreams like crazy stuff so they just rewire it keeps going mm -hmm. and she feels that from time to time recently she has headaches so it is just in the middle of the skull so it's there the that zero point feel there what is this solar shift supposed to happen <coughs> Is there a timeline for it? I just see the number 19. 19. So perhaps 2019? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything that we need to do to prepare for this flash? Yeah. Need to raise your awareness and to know to learn more about the world because you live in your own bubble and you don't see what's happening around and whenever the shift happens you will see everything as ugly as it is as beautiful as it is and you your mind is not ready people just need to expand their view and their if you watch one channel take a look at another one because there you will know more mm -hmm. and you can compare and then discern if it serves you or not mm -hmm. but if everything just dumps on you like that it will be very hard it, it's gonna happen on the cellular like on the cell yes level cellular mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. And um, also just just the f like the feeling and the mental awareness, it's always gonna just flip upside down, and mm -hmm. you need to be ready so you can help others when the time of madness comes. Mm -hmm. How long will this last? It depends how prepared people are, mm -hmm. but. We will have help, so we're not gonna be alone. Mm -hmm. We just need to. We will adjust faster if we prepared better. Okay. It's gonna take a while, like maybe first three years. Mm -hmm. And then the new generations, they like, they foster. Mm -hmm. So they will be adjusting faster than the next ones. Yes. Well, they already are, these children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that they, they are ready more, but still, the parents, parents, they still suppress some of some of the information or the the attributes of the character of the children so mm -hmm. that they need it for the change so just people need to educate it themselves how do we best educate our children to be prepared for this shift children must be educating their parents there is mm -hmm. It's the other way around now. Okay. But so we need to be more vigilant to what the children are teaching us? Yeah. Because then we're not gonna... Uh, we will let them be the way they are. Mm -hmm. And they can teach us more than... Because we're just blocking them. Mm -hmm. We don't have so much knowledge as they they brought a lot with them. They mm -hmm. most of them they're not from here. Mm -hmm. 
so they have so much in them and we are so ignorant that is just embarrassing what would you like to tell the teachers who teach children oh, teachers they are in a bad place mm -hmm. because they have to go by the book mm -hmm. but there are many now who goes against mm -hmm. so all they need to do is just to let children show what they have inside mm -hmm. what um, what knowledge they bring and let them express at the same time giving the essentials like to read and all that stuff mm -hmm. because they're still in this physical world but just learn from them and try to check the information then apply it and then spread okay very good are we complete today to still keep she keeps asking about that asylum stuff. Mm -hmm. She, she, I understand she. She knows she needs to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Before it was easier because everything came together and it was easy to make one. Mm -hmm. But now there is nothing around. She just needs to make it. Okay. Or not. She has to see that map in front of her and know that. Yeah, that it's, it's all clean and mm -hmm. clear and it goes straight and that's it, just do it. Very good. Very good. Do you have a final message for her? Besides just do it? <laughs> <laughs> just never, never doubt. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see something or feel, just know that's that's true. Mm -hmm. She she's ninety nine and nine percent sure. There is always that little one. Mm -hmm. So don't don't have that because you did a good job and now just enjoy, relax, and you you don't need to struggle anymore to get something. It comes easily. Just be in joy. And gonna have a very long long life here even if you don't want still gonna have it so just be yourself and, and enjoy very good wide awake then wide awake feeling wonderful all over oh. I'm back. like moving mm -hmm. you feel like you're moving yeah like i cannot explain <laughs> i'm here but something is moving down now. wonderful okay I'm so here. how do you feel <laughs> feel good. Mm -hmm. feel good how long do you feel you're on this journey uh, hour and 20 minutes two hours Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. A lot longer than you expected. Yeah, so yeah, what do you remember? Everything? Yeah. Yeah, especially I remember that I was quiet there. Mm -hmm. I didn't interrupt. Mm -hmm. I was happy about that. Nice. Yeah, the only thing at the end, mm -hmm. that thing. Mm -hmm. And that's it. The rest is... Wonderful. It so. just... Um, the first that we started with the concentrate mm, that thing, yeah, it just reminded me of what my grandmother was telling me, mm. and I think that it's not just coincidence, right? No, it's not coincidence. Oh, yeah, okay. You picked her because of her experience, probably. Mm -hmm. Maybe you even knew each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wasn't there, but yeah. Yeah, you never know. You never, you never know. know. Yeah. So, what do you think about this whole thing? Good? Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel good. I I got all the answers. Mm -hmm. I feel 100% now. Comf comfortable and comfortable. Wow. <laughs> yeah. here so, we are. here we are. Yeah. Two hours. It's been... It, no, it felt 
an hour and a little bit more. Uh -huh. That's it. So tell everybody why you're here. Why did you come here? I came so just to know that I'm on the right way, on the right path, mm -hmm. and um, that there are things that I need to do, and it's just a bit confusing, <laughs> do I need or not, Yeah. and plus just to, honestly, I think the first thing is that I wanted to talk to my higher self mm. face to face can <laughs> say like that because I saw it before and I just wanted to do it again yeah yeah and she's good and you even have a name <laughs> for her now yeah, now I have a name yeah yeah she's Lena so Lena so I had many Lena's in my life actually. did you yeah wow yes yeah, so. and Lena uh, had long hair and that's why you grew your hair long kind of to look yeah. like her no it's it's not because I wanted to look like her because I I wanted my hair always very long, oh. but it never grew. And oh. once in the meditation, I connected to her. I saw her, and since that time, my oh, hair started to grow. Very interesting. Yeah. So, very. and she does healing work that I know. She heals planets, and in some time from that, I started to learn Reiki. So it's there you go. Also, so there you we, go. Yeah, we're very connected. So I got the all the information that I need. I just need to what about this past sit. life how did that seem to you I didn't feel emotional because I it's it the didn't way it didn't seem like like she was very emotional in that life you it's know this. like I am in this life yes I was yes now I'm more open and mm -hmm. I, I learned how to be like to feel the emotions well it seems like in that life that you were very happy very open when you were little yeah. And then when this happened, you had to shut yourself down because you lost your puppy, you lost your mother, you lost your brother. I mean, you yeah. were losing everything. And, I felt, and then you lost your life finally. And I just knew that everybody will die. Yeah. And it was like it's inevitable. And yeah. I didn't feel that. I didn't let myself feel it. Yeah. And in this life, I did the same thing, but it started just the other way around. And now I feel life. And I love <laughs> it. And I enjoy every every single breath and it just went uh, everybody did the same right now when we started this uh, session which was very interesting there was a lot of noise outside mm -hmm. and uh, did you hear any of this noise no I didn't I didn't pay attention to it yeah I know they were working there <laughs> but a lot of people have those questions as to what happens if you're distracted um, we have people trimming trees outside and they were right outside the window uh, while we doing doing the induction and as long as you are following my voice and you are concentrating only on my voice everything disappears it's like the whole world disappears for a while you're yeah. you're alert you you know it's happening but you're really not yeah I felt about. the wind mm -hmm. I felt everything and but I think you're so multidimensional yes, in that moment. Exactly. So you know that you feel that you taste, you smell because I had some taste and smells while I was there as well. <laughs> it depends like or the feeling like emotional somebody yes. is having fun, somebody's like mm -hmm. so I felt that and and it's fine. So you can be at the same same time same time in different in places different place. yeah. yeah so how would you tell everybody to prepare for this oh I think it's uh, very personal <laughs> but do some meditation and sleep yeah mm. that, that's I didn't sleep enough because <laughs> I was kind of a bit in, in you know excited excited yes. and I wanted to to do that and mm -hmm. that's why I didn't sleep well how far did you travel from Originally, no. <laughs> this time, no. This time, just I'm from Virginia Beach, so it's not that long. It's a beautiful place here, uh -huh. and I like it. it's the first time I'm here. Mm -hmm. So we just if you have a car, just jump in, <laughs> jump in, you know. and come up. Yeah. And where are you originally from? Where is this I'm, accent from? Yeah, I'm Russian. I'm from Kazakhstan, but life and my higher self brought me here, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm here. So so now I know what to do. And I'm very grateful that I'm here because I, you know, back in Kazakhstan was like six months ago. I was there, 
watching your videos <laughs> and dreaming about coming here and I had so many questions I, I talked to you mm -hmm. but I try not to because I know it can interfere right so I tried to stop you know here so you know so you can what, be here too yeah so just if you want it do that do Don't it. Think about it so go to my website albawyman.com you could sign up it's very easy and I also travel all over the place so you can sign up for my newsletter to tell you where I'll be going to next if you need to contact me just go through my website and um, hope to see you sometime soon okay bye, bye. give me my hug now oh.